Pacific Assistance Dog Society raises and trains dogs to help people with a physical disability or people who are hard of hearing. Margaret Hicks is a PADS trainer and she's going to show us how she teaches the dogs the skills they need to help their owners carry out day-to-day -day activities. PADS is Pacific Assistance Dog Society. We've been a society since 1987 and we train, raise and train dogs for people with physical disabilities, people who are hard of hearing and deaf and people who work in professional services such as in a long-term care facility or in intervention services. Some of our clients, for example, may have had a spinal cord injury or may have been born with spina bifida and they need help to do some physical tasks such as opening doors, picking up items off the floor, so our dogs do that service for them. Some of our clients are born deaf or have hard of hearing through life and those dogs alert the people to sounds such as the door knock, their cell phone ringing, baby crying, a timer going off, smoke detector. And some of our clients work in long-term care facilities with seniors, so for example the dog provides emotional support just through their presence, their calm presence with people who are in long-term care facilities or people who are in other changes of life. We have our own breeding program here at PADS and we also have a relationship with some breeders across the country so we breed our own stock. For the first year it's a volunteer family who's looking after the puppy and that person's role is to take the puppy everywhere they go, socialize it and um, around 14 months of age they come in for an assessment here. From 14 months to two years they're in training. In advanced training we use something called a clicker. This is the noise it makes. The clicker is an event marker. It indicates to the dog that something that they're doing will give them the possibility for a reinforcer. For us, we use treats for the reinforcer. We train the dogs to do skills like open the doors, hit the automatic door buttons, retrieve items off the floor, turn off and on lights. And so we use our clicker to mark a behavior a dog is doing that is moving in the direction of the actual final behavior we want. We know they're ready to go when they can do all of their skills in high distraction, low distraction, and medium distraction. By the time a dog is two years old, roughly, they've had enough time to mature and also to have enough time to learn all the skills they need. Once the dog is with a client, it's an amazing moment to see the dog doing something for a client that they might not have been able to do before. And my motivation for working out with PADS is I love, I love working dogs the way that they can assist and enjoy the work they do with people. Assistance dogs allow people to have greater independence while improving their overall quality of life. You can impact an animal's life in a positive way by adopting one from the BCSPCA. Now we're gonna go meet Lily, who's gonna introduce us to the Happy Tales Pet of the Week. Who is this interesting and unique looking dog, Lily? This is Jasper. And he is a Husky German Shepherd Cross. He is a very beautiful dog. You can see in his face, he has the face of a, a Husky and then the nice long lean body of a German Shepherd. And where did he come from? He was actually found running down the highway with a friend of his, another doggy friend near a reservation. Um, so it was quite dangerous with lots of cars going past. Someone phoned uh, the SPCA emergency line and they came and picked him up and brought him here. Wow, yeah. so he sounds like he's a bit of a high energy, uh, independent dog. He say. is, you know, he is very high, he is pretty high energy. He's very, very well behaved though. As you can see, he sits. Jasper, can you sit? There yeah. we go. He sits and he's uh, treat motivated. Who would be best suited to adopt him? You know, he's actually a great dog for someone who's never had a dog before, just because he is, you know, trained a little bit like this. He's great, uh, he'd be great with a family, with kids. Is he socialized with other dogs? Yeah, he is socialized with other dogs. He just gets really jealous when other dogs are trying to eat his food. So that's the only thing. Other than that, he's totally fine with kids, dogs, cats. He is great at swimming, actually. He loves Ooh. swimming. He'd be great to take to the beach in the summer, you know, as long as it's a dog beach. So he's a real outdoors He's a real dog. outdoors. You can take him hiking, you can take him cycling. Yeah, he's happy with pretty much anything, as long as he's getting exercise and lots of love. Uh, vet checks, neutered, everything yep, up to date. He is neutered. He has all his vaccinations up to date. He is good to go. He's very healthy and very, very happy. If you'd like to adopt Jasper, visit the BCSPCA. Adopt a dog, adopt a big dog, and you'll have a bigger friend. Give him a home he can defend. For Happy Tales on Nobis TV, I'm Corinne Skalbeck.